morning everyone so we are here again and we are leaving from home and it's already 8 15 in the morning so what are plans today love we're going to the three natal classes at the health center so uh, they have prenatal classes for pregnant ladies and, and expecting fathers uh, teaching them some lessons about how to look after babies and also what to expect when you give birth. So this is the second week we <laughs> went last week and we're off again this week. Well today is a good day, it's not raining. And it's not totally cold like the last time because today in Australia is winter. When it will end again now? Winter ends at the end of this month, so it's we're in July, at the end of July. Mm -hmm. Winter's over and spring starts. It is a nice day and we've got take us 45 minutes or so, 45 minutes to an hour to get into Newcastle from our place. Just depends on the traffic. And on the way we'll go past well, a number of things but uh, it's probably about 50 or 60 kilometers and we'll go past most likely some kangaroos in the wild as well. Mm -hmm. We should get breakfast also. We should. We should. Particularly you. <laughs> no, we'll just, you know. Yeah, we, we, might, we might have to go to McDonald's today. So malapit na tayo guys sa uh, ano kung saan mar maraming kangaroo and hopefully we can see one. Take the first exit to I think you'll see more than one. Uh, there's normally five or six at least here but it's not sure whether you're going to be able to capture them with your phone but let's see them very shortly. They're coming up on the right. So this is a place called Salt Ash. It's about, uh, I don't know, 35 kilometers from Newcastle I guess. Still semi-rural sort of place, so a few farms and that sort of thing. And one of the farms here, the kangaroos on, on, on the right hand side, they, they're nearly always there uh, in the morning and the evening. Uh, middle of the day not so much, but it's still early enough that they're most likely there. So should be coming up here on the right. Hopefully you'll have to spot them with the camera, but I'm almost sure there'll be some. They're all wild kangaroos. Yep, there's one, there's some there in the field. I can see them running. You'll have to grab them on the phone. But yep, there's, there's at least six there. Up on the right there, love, you can see them. Yeah, yep, there's at least see. six there in a group. Three, seven, well, it's more like 12 yeah, or 15. Can... Maybe 20 actually, no there's more, there's probably 30. There's probably at least 30 there. Mm. Yep, they're all wild, just uh, they live in that, they, well they, don't, they live in the bush there but they come and eat from that farmer's paddock every day. He doesn't seem to mind too much, um, he doesn't try and get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, there's obviously quite a group there, I've actually not seen so many there before. kakaawa nga yung ibang kangaroo kasi ano, namamatay sila kasi ano, lumalaba sila doon sa ano yung sa pag-aari ng iba kasi um, how ano ba ito call it love? Um, how fast again you're driving? Uh, at the moment we're doing about 80 kilometers an hour, the speed limit mm -hmm. on this part of the road is 80 there are other sections that are the speed limit is 100 way into Newcastle but at the moment yeah we're just doing just around 80 k's an hour uh, and just we're probably five minutes away from Newcastle Airport we, but Newcastle Airport is probably another 30 minutes or so out of Newcastle City which is where we're, our destination is today. Now we're heading to our destination. This is 
is my outfit for today. <laughs> and I have like uh, McDonald's for breakfast. So this is Newcastle, uh, Hunter Street, Newcastle, and uh, there's a big KFC over there, and we're going to the, it's something called, something like the Newcastle District Medical Centre or something like that, which is where they have the prenatal classes and a number of other things, including a methadone clinic. So you get some interesting, uh, interesting mix of people in the, uh, this place here so that's the building we're going into um, it's actually quite uh, secure as well so they have uh, pretty tight security I think that's partly because of the methadone clinic if you don't know what a methadone clinic is that's uh, people who are addicted to heroin um, go there to get get injections of a of a heroin like substance that helps them hopefully break their addiction over time so you have quite a lot of drug addicts and stuff around here as well yeah no, that's fine no worries no uh, So yes, you do get a colourful uh, mix of people around uh, this little oh, section. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm glad we don't live here in this part of town every day. Okay, so here's the security. Dito. Hindi 
because usually in summer, even like 7 p.m., there's like sun. Usually the first time I came here, I was shocked because like 7 p.m. and there's still sun. But now it's just like, oh, like 6 p.m., it's already dawn, it's already dark. Yeah, well in summer, in, in October, we, uh, even before summer has started, we turn the clocks forward an hour for daylight savings. And so, yeah, instead of getting dark at 6, it gets dark at 7. And in January, in the longest, in December and January, the longest days, probably gets dark at 8, maybe uh, even a little bit after 8 sometimes. Australia guys, palagi kami ano pag nasa car kami that um, you, you should wear seat belt because uh, my penalty kasi dito pag hindi ano pag hindi kayo nakasuot ng seat belt kasi law kasi dito ni sa kanila na magsuot ng self seat belt. I told love that um, in the Philippines usually we don't usually wear seat belt, but in here there's like a law that you should wear seat belt because there's a penalty for that. How yeah. much the fine um, if they got here, you're not wearing seat uh, I think it's about $550 for not wearing a seat belt. $550 is the fine. So that's around about 20,000 pesos, close enough to. Mm, wow. I can buy a new phone. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a lot of money. But it's for your safety, you know, if you're in an accident and you've got your seat belt on, you've got a reasonable chance of surviving. If you don't, and it's a high-speed accident, you're going to die. Show the guys the sunset Yeah, the sunset Because we're close to the water, so usually yeah, like um, we're, we're in the bay, right? Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Sa next video namin guys, gagawa kami ng ano, um, ng video about sa, natutunan namin kung ano, uh, about sa parenting class and we, of course we, we want to share it to you at ano yung, ano yung ma-recommend namin pag pregnancy ka ano yung kailangan mo katulad ng pillow, pregnancy pillow, pregnancy bowl, at marami pa. Meron ta uh, first, kasi first time kong mabuntis, kaya kaya hindi ko pa alam. And thanks God, yung husband ko is uh, very supportive. about like pregnancy um, do you need some advice um, just comment below and we're, we're gonna answer about that we'll do our best <laughs> we'll do our best to answer the questions as we're long as we're already registered uh, midwives so <laughs> just bear that in mind but um, what we're learning from parenting class we, if they ask some questions what we learn from parenting class we're, of course if they ask, want to ask questions we're gonna answer from that sure So 
so maybe guys that's it maybe we're gonna see you on our next video and um, I hope you enjoy our video and please like and subscribe below